behind us is where a field hospital is being constructed because we simply don't have enough beds for what's being called a tsunami of COVID cases. I presume now that every patient that I'm seeing, and I act like every patient that I'm seeing is COVID positive. Dr. Hike Antablian is a senior resident in emergency medicine at UCLA Medical Center, which has seen a post Christmas surge of coronavirus cases, just like most hospitals across Southern California. On Saturday, LA County reached a new milestone in the pandemic. More than 12,000 dead and more than 900,000 cases of COVID 19. Based off of my last few shifts, I would say that close to 80%, maybe 90% of patients are COVID positive. Public health experts say the surge is the result of gatherings during Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, and New Year celebrations. Dr. Robert Kim Farley at the UCLA Fielding School of Public Health says California's early success in the pandemic with stay at home orders may have given people a false sense of security. Is this a matter of complacency? I think it has been a matter of complacency. We've been under uh, orders for some uh, nine months now. People have had pandemic fatigue, if you will. So I think that uh, we've let our guard down a bit. And uh, so this surge and tsunami that we're now having, actually, I think of it being like a, a raging viral wildfire. That wildfire has resulted in a mobile field hospital being constructed in Los Alamitos, while military personnel have arrived in Riverside County USC Medical Center to help with the record number of patients and then National Guard troops having to place bodies in refrigerated trucks because the LA County morgue is full. Images once only seen in New York City, the original hotspot. This is our New York moment, our moment to be scared straight. Any advice? Keep your masks on, socially distance, and we can get over this quickly. Dr. Kim Farley expects to see peaks in hospitalization by the end of January and then another spike in deaths by mid-February. But he hopes we'll get more vaccines by the spring to help flatten our curve. In Los Alamitos, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.